Hey there everyone and welcome to a new video. First I'd like to say sorry because I couldn't put out any uh, videos on The Last Banner or Lufenia because quite a lot was happening that night and things were not going well and yeah. I did end up getting uh, Onion Knight's LD and I stopped there. I also got Snow's EX, which was nice. I built up Snow and used him for the challenge quest. But either way, uh, today is the release of a new Lost Chapter for Arciella here. Uh, this is her banner. It includes her LD and kit, along with uh, Prish's uh, EX and kit, and Renoa's uh, up to EX. Renoa has an LD, but it is not included here, unfortunately. Also includes a uh, Onion Knight's burst, as usual. I basically have everything on this banner outside the burst and the LD, so I am going to be doing ticket draws for the LD if I get burst as well. I'd be happy, but I doubt it's happening. But hopefully I don't have too much trouble on this banner. The Onion Knight banner gave me a bit of an issue. Uh, mostly because of how wrecked the, the servers were that night. Things were going really slowly and I had a good chunk into uh, draws uh, being recorded but it was going really long and the and the servers were chugging and it just really wasn't worth uh, uploading uh, kind of similar with the, the Lufenia ended up doing that off camera because was having some issues getting through the stage uh, first time or two and uh, the place I was recording from at the time also uh, was having some internet issues so had some lag during the actual fight as well which was unfortunate I did manage to complete it with a uh, my team of Onion Knight, uh, Kefka, and Ultimecia. I basically did a no boss turns cheese by constantly having them in HP silence. And managed to get a decent score, I think. Uh, considering uh, Arciella here has HP silence as well, she could be useful to uh, take back into uh, Onion Knight's Lufenia if you still haven't completed it. Because she can potentially help cheese it. Especially if you have her LD. I believe her LD uh, lets her regen. Uh, uses of her uh, skill too, kind of like Ultimisha with, with her LD, which means she can silence more often. And that along with the uh, free skill uses from uh, Onion Knight's uh, LD, uh, it should make that a lot easier to get through. Though, that is kind of a weird thing with Arciella here, because while her silence is something that her original Chaos uh, stage was based around, her uh, 
Lufenia, as far as I'm aware, seems to be based around uh, her debuff, not her debuff, uh, her buff dispels, which, as far as I'm aware, her, her LD doesn't really do anything to help with, which is kind of odd. So it can be a bit uh, fussy, apparently. But otherwise, is pretty simple. Let's do a little turn around here. Really not having much uh, luck on this banner so far, it seems. Uh, it seems the game wants to give me a luck of bad luck this month because I was so lucky last month. Apparently, I got literally everything last month. So I'm guessing it wants to be a bit, okay, a little bit stingy with uh, things this month. Which I hope doesn't uh, drain my resources too bad. Because, uh, most... I'm planning on trying for just about everything this month. And I'd hope I don't have to go too deep into my gem stash to get things. Still no, uh... Gold orbs yet. I'll probably go like a hundred fifty to two hundred tickets into this, or at least down to eight fifty or. Or 800 tickets on camera if the LD doesn't pop. Hmm. Still no gold. Not in orb form or just gold weapons. This banner's not being too good for me overall. Oh, here's a gold. Come on, give me the LD, please. Uh, Chris is. Trish's EX, which is honestly probably one of my favorite EX in the game. It's one of my first. I believe my very first EX was a Squall, which I did get back on a ticket. I believe it... Oh, there's a... I see other weapon at least. I believe I was throwing tickets onto a... a selfie banner, and it had a... Squall's EX on. 
I didn't even know what EX were at that time. I was really ignorant on a lot of the game's mechanics and stuff back then. All I really knew was that it gave my squall a new attack where he just swung his sword around like an idiot, and I liked that. I think uh, Prish was one of the uh, first I actually went out of my way to try to draw with gems. And it took me two multis to get hers. The game gave me uh, two of her EX on the same pool. Made me super happy because I really like Trish. I liked playing as her in the, in the PSP game. So I was really happy to get random EX nice. I was really happy to get her uh, EX here. I used her a lot uh, for that part of the story simply because she was one of my few characters with EX. They ain't giving me a lot of uh, gold weapons in a row. <laughs> Wow. Uh, keep giving me Power Stones game. I'm not going to say anything against that. But also the fact that uh, EX were something that uh, were able to just be infinite use potentially was something that I was a probably a bit too overexcited for early on because like I got it and it's like oh I can basically use it infinitely uh, I don't have to worry about losing out on skills or anything I basically have an infinite moveset uh, but that's not quite the way it is of course and turn count is a thing so yeah but it was still nice to have something that uh, my other skills worked towards building and gave me a big attack that basically otherwise didn't really have a cost at least to my mind I've, of course, uh, gotten a lot luckier with a uh, EX past that. I have quite a few right now. I'm still missing a little under 20 or so. But I've got quite a lot of them and a decent chunk of LDs now. But uh, back then it... Just having that EX was a big boon to my party. Because as someone who was ignorant to a lot of mechanics, I didn't have a well-built party, as you could probably guess. You know what, EX? Now I have a bit better uh, roster at the very least. I wouldn't say it's a perfect roster, but I do have a good chunk of characters who can run things. And I got a bit of a uh, budget going forward. So most of my budget is most of my budgeting is just like deciding what I'm gonna pull with tickets, which for my uh, for this month is basically everything. Hopefully, except bursts. I'm not expecting the game to throw bursts at me uh, on ticket pulls. I've had it happen 
before, but it's not something I'm expecting. I'll go down to 800 here. If I don't get a JLD, I'll just do the rest of the pulls off screen. But so far, sadly, it seems uh, tickets are failing me this month. Which is unfortunate. It... Hopefully, uh, the next uh, Divine Summon board can help me recoup my lost tickets this month. I got everything in RCLS kit so far except the one thing I want. Uh, getting down into the last uh, little under 30 tickets for the video. I'd be happy to get a, at least one more starting gold orb before the end here. This is unfortunate. Six more tickets to go. And yeah, sometimes luck just doesn't go your way. Oh well, I'll have to do the rest of my draws off screen. I'll probably put in the in the description if I get it or not. I probably will because I'm stubborn. But either way, uh, see ya, everyone. Hope others have a bit more luck with this one uh, than me. But either way, uh, uh, see ya. I will probably be doing Lufenia, which from what I heard isn't too bad, and I'll do a video of that, uh, but see you everyone.